What's up guys, it's Carlos with Toy Gigante. Today we're just gonna wing it. We're gonna build a chair for my uh, Marvel Legends Punisher action figure. Um, I got some styrene and some other parts. We're just gonna wing it and put something together. Whatever happens, happens. Let's see how I do, okay? And hopefully, this will give you an idea of how to work with styrene and other things. And then you can have a nice chair for yourself or whatever you want to build. Um, let's get down to it. Let's go. Alright. So, this fella, he needs a chair. So we're going to make him one. And I'm just gonna do what I do and see where it goes. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So I got this little box of supplies. I got some styrene sheets. I got my uh, my glue that I enjoy using. I got a ruler. I got M E N G Meng bolts. I use those quite often. And a little saw blade. And let's see what else. As you can see, I'm not very prepared. I'm just going to go off and do my thing. Okay. This piece right here, this will make a good base. For my chair. So I'm going to cut this in half. With my exacto blade. Okay. Just going to score it and then I'm just going to cut it like so. Now I got two pieces. I'm going to cut it again in half. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Yeah, this is so much fun, huh? Alright, this is a lot of fun actually. I love doing this kind of stuff. I have a nice cutting board and I can uh, measure. A straight line right here. I'm using that I'm using this cutting board as a guide. I'm going really fast because I'm doing this video, but if I was doing this just on a my day off, I would it would take me three times as long, but for the purpose of the video, just going by really quick. I used to go to the Lego store and I'd pick up little parts. So we're going to throw in some Legos. These little eyeball ones, these little pieces right here, these round little pieces, they're going to make a good um, like chair, uh, rubber things that you'd see on, on the bottom of chairs. That's the thing about, um, oops, customizing is that you can just use whatever you want that you have laying around the house. Oops. Put that on silent. Okay, I'm gonna just glue all of these. Glue all these down. Got a base already, look at that. Okay, I got some round styrene over here. I'm 
that I'm going to cut. First, let me see if I can find another, like, okay, this piece, Lego store, another little Lego piece. It would look kind of good in here. Oh, look, that fits. See that? See that? That works, doesn't it? Now, the next part is I'm going to see about he's about when he sits down he's about this high I'm just kind of eyeballing it so I'm gonna cut right here you can use like a, if you don't have round styrene you can use like an old pen or pencil you can use plastic you can use wood whatever you want Alright, so it's coming along, see? Okay. Now, let me see what else I have here. Hmm. You can even, you can even use these like rolls that come like when you buy those dog poop bags. Inside that roll is like this plastic piece that you can use. It comes in handy. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't, well, get a dog. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, just use whatever you want. There's no rules here. I'm gonna, does this fit inside? No. Does this fit? Ooh, that, that piece fits. This little piece of styrene. I get the uh, styrene at the at my local hobby store. Um, you can find it on eBay or wherever you would like, or like Amazon. It's relatively cheap and it's easy to work with. You can, it's easy to cut. Okay, here's, I got a sheet of styrene right here. I'm gonna cut a base for my chair for his butt. All right, so he's, he sits, he's about that size, okay, his butt. Look guys, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I just eyeball this stuff sometimes and I don't know, I just make stuff. Okay, I'm gonna so place in his butt right here. He's about this wide. Okay, so we're just gonna cut that. I'm sorry my my bootleg or my video's bootleg, but you know. It's a hot day, I can't think straight. I need food. And there's no food in the house. <laughs> I'm going kind of crazy today. But at least I'm making a video for you guys. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I appreciate all you guys. I appreciate the subs subscribers and the comments and all that. You guys are really cool. You make this kind of stuff a lot of fun. Alright. So, um, so check it out. It looks like a little table. So now you can sit down. Okay, cool. We're getting somewhere. You know what? I think I'm going to cut this a little shorter. That'll work. Okay. And always be careful with the exacto blades. I've have I've cut myself many times. Please be careful if you have kids or if kids if you're doing this make sure your parents are around because I don't want you guys getting hurt I don't want anyone getting hurt all right look at this we're gonna make um, a, re a back rest right here okay let's see what do I have for a back rest I have okay 
the cool thing about styrene is that it, it's available in many um, many different shapes so I know I have an angle shape here give me one second and I have an angle here somewhere come on look at all this I never throw away my, my styrene because I you just never know when you're gonna need it you know ah. oh here we go here we go here we go check this out look at that see this little L shape I'm gonna put that on there. Styrene is just one of those tools that, and it could be a tool in your arsenal of customizing. Okay, it's just it comes in so handy. All right, so let's add a little style to this because it's a little, it's a little boring. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut I'm just going to cut a little bit off of the side right here No, I'm going to saw it off <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up too because she's it's kind of dirty. I'm gonna cut this side too. Just what I'm doing is adding a little style to the to the chair, just making it so it's not so boxy, you know. boxy then it's just gonna look like Legos and things I said guys be careful when you do this kind of stuff I'm gonna go ahead and sand this real quick make it look nice all right I went inside and I got some nice scissors heavy duty and I sanded my backrest a little bit to make it look neat see that so I'm gonna add some glue to my chair right here now I'm going to put these pieces together you know I don't do this kind of work live on camera so this is my first time so bear with me guys I usually sleep all day. Check that out, huh? Now we're getting somewhere. And then when your friends ask you, how did you do that? You can tell them, I use styrene and I, I use some Legos and I used a Sharpie and I used um, match sticks, whatever you want. <laughs> all right, so I'm adding a little bit of curves here because it's just gonna make my chair look better because in life not everything's all like square you know you gotta add a little bit of curves make it look nice okay make it look like a real chair. If you don't know what a real chair looks like, go online and look look up office chairs or sci-fi chairs or military chairs. Just do a Google search or go to uh, Office Max. Check out some chairs. I'm telling you, some guys ask me, "Well, what's a chair look like?" It's like go look it up. 
Not that tough. All right, check that out. Wow, that's looking pretty nice, guys. I think so. I, I know that that sounds very arrogant, but come on, come on. Look at that. Look at that. And that's not even finished. That's gonna look really nice in your diorama, okay? Okay. So, <clears throat> this is just a little bonus. I'm just gonna add some, like, little extras just to make it look kind of cool. Like, let's add some detail in the back. It's kind of, kind of plain. And like I said, guys, when I make, when I make my stuff, I take my time, I cut very carefully. Everything's gotta be perfect. Right now, because I'm doing this in front of the camera, I'm going extremely fast. I don't work this fast. I this would this is a four hour chair. And I'm doing it in like I don't know, like 30 minutes or less. telling you guys take your time relax put in a movie that's what I do I put in a movie I eat first of all I eat some good food okay you don't want to do this kind of stuff on an empty stomach you want to go get some food turn off your cell phone so no one bothers you get some good food just relax watch it put in a a movie that you love, but that you that you've seen a gazillion times. That way, it doesn't distract you. Okay. Put in ET. Put in the Goonies. Put in um. Whatever you feel like. I know those are older movies, but those are the coolest movies. All right, check that out. See, it just adds a little bit of dimension. I'm going to add another piece just to give it even more like more life just just so there's a little extra something okay so I'm going to do this I'm going to cut right here another styrene piece I'm going to make it look nice okay Look at that. See that? That looks nice. It looks like a... It just gives it more life and more dimension. So it's not just flat. And what are we going to do so it's not just flat? We're going to make a cushion. And we're going to use this stuff called... Super Sculpt... Sculpty? Sculpt... Sculpty? Sculpty? You can get this at your... Uh, Hobby shop you can get at at like Joann's or Hobby Lobby. I think Walmart probably has it as well. So I'm gra I'm rolling up a little piece right here. What I want to do is make some seat cushions. Okay. So Punisher. What's his real name? Frank Castle. It's been a while since since I read these comics, but he needs something. Something nice to, uh, something nice in his diorama. Somewhere nice to sit on and chill while he's, while he's looking at all his, uh, expensive gear that he's bought in throughout the years. Okay, I'm rolling it up, okay? Alright, look at this. It looks like bubble gum. I want to make a seat cushion right here. So I'm going to make like a, a like a square shape. I want to fit right here. Okay. Just rolling the uh, super. Sculpey. 
Look at that, I'm rolling it. Like pizza dough. Well, I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> just cut it, man. Okay. Let's see, cut it, alright. See, doesn't that look cool so far? Got your seat cushion, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give the seat cushion some life by um, grabbing something like this, giving it some uh, wrinkles. Giving it some life here like it's been used. Okay, I mean I need practice on that, but it's something, you know? A little practice on the, uh, the sculpting. But check that out. That's giving it some life. And now I'm going to make back cushions. Same thing pretty much. So I'm just gradually like moving the material around, making sure I cover the uh, the backrest here and what I'm going to do is do it in sections so I'm going to I'm going to cut cut it in threes because I think it would be interesting like on a real chair to do it in um in sections I've never worked this fast. It's exciting. It's kind of a rush. All right. All right, so there's a chair. I'm gonna go back and fix it up a little bit, but you get the idea. So let me just, um, Mess around with this a little bit, and we're gonna do the next step. But we're getting there. All right. It's taking a little break there, but I find I found that like a little piece like this to make some uh, wrinkles in the material it, it helps a lot. So as you can see, I'm not gluing the material yet because what you need to do is you need to bake, them, bake this in the oven for about 15 minutes. And that's what I'm going to do in a few minutes. And then we're going to glue in the cushions. But the longer, um, longer I'm messing with this, it's looking better and better. Because I'm going to go ahead and paint these uh, cushions. But before I do that, I want to make some arms for my seat. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, I found... This this will work for what I need. Some more uh, styrene um, pieces. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut that. This table is too flimsy for this kind of work. Okay. a little bit okay all right look at 
that. Getting somewhere, huh? Just need a little armrest for a good friend, Punisher. Found another uh, piece here. Um, so yeah, guys, you can use styrene. You can w use wood, whatever you you feel. You can use spare plastic. Use whatever you want for this kind of stuff. Whatever it takes to make it happen. I just have a bunch of parts laying around that I use over and over again, so... I'm giving the, these chairs the armrest. I'm giving them a little bit of a... of a curve right here, as you can see. See that little curve? I'm just giving it some life. So I'm just kind of adding to it. I'm just building it up as I go. Started from the ground up. It's building up. If you go to like the second hand store, they always have like old toys that you can take apart. And use for, for spare parts. That's a good idea always, to have spare parts. Check that out, I put like, these little tubes right there. I'm gonna hold the armrests. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? And he... It's going to fit nicely in there. Got to let these dry a little bit, though. Alright. So now I have my chair. I have my cushions. Then I'm going to go bake in the oven. And I'm going to use these... Mang bolts, M E N G. You can buy, buy these on eBay. This is kind of like a little bit of a, a bonus, just to give it a little bit of life. Let's put some bolts in the back. Let me see. I'm going to add another little piece just because oh. Alright Can't believe I'm doing this on camera, man What I do with these uh, little bolts is I like to use my exacto and I what I do is I cut I cut them like this with my exacto blade and I have a little piece of material and I'll dab a little bit of glue and with my exacto pick them up and then I glue them wherever I want just like this and now I have some bolts on my chair just to give it a little bit more life what I'm gonna do real quick is 
gonna put my cushions in the oven and I'm gonna go spray paint this and I'll be back all right guys I'm back I got the uh, super sculpey out of the oven I let it bake I read the instructions it was about 275 degrees for 15 minutes I let the uh, cushions bake and then I glued them onto my chair and then I spray painted my chair with some um, Valspar. I get the, the flat color. It goes on smooth. And let's check this out. A really nice comfortable chair for your action figures. Can you see that alright? It's got some dimension to it. Yes, I rushed it, but, you know, a few minutes ago it was just flat pieces of plastic, and now we have something. Check that out. Now you can hang out, relax in his new chair. He's happy. So it doesn't take much to make something like this. Um, you'll do it differently. You won't have all the pieces that I have but just look around your house whatever looks interesting glue it on there and have fun with it take your time though um, this is this is a rush job but I wanted to show you guys what you can do and um, I hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe comment let me know if you hate it let me know if you like this. Let me know if you want to see stuff like this. Just talk to me, guys, because I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know anything. I'm just making stuff here. Okay? But remember, you can make stuff. You can do whatever you want. You can make anything. If you don't want to wait for some toy company to make it, make it yourself. You can have it today. You can have it right now. Okay? So I really hope you like this video, and we'll catch you next time on Toy Gigante.